Tonight, wildlife officials are blaming boaters for tearing up one of the state's most protected resources. ABC Action News reporter Wendy Lane tonight showing you the environmental scars now left behind. Seagrass. It might not seem like a big deal to most people, but biologists say that it drives Florida's economy. Grass is a crucial part of life on land, and the same holds true underwater. It's a critical base food chain that provides food for all the other types of animals here along the coast. That's why seagrass is protected. It's what manatees and turtles live on and what fish live in. But boats can destroy it. This overhead picture shows scarring in the grass where boats have dropped their anchors or grounded and ripped away the grass beds. It won't grow back at all or it'll take up to 10 to 12 years for the grass beds to fill back in. The Nature Coast has the second largest seagrass beds in the nation and they want to keep it that way. It's why the county is placing buoys to keep boaters off the grass because without it, Florida would not be thriving. So it's critical we protect what we can, especially where areas we know that boaters are impacting it. In Hernando County, Wendy Lane, ABC Action News.